I'm back with another Logos Bible software tutorial, and if you're like me, perhaps you've owned Logos and been investing in Logos books, or you're thinking about it, but the truth is you probably also have a lot of books that you've already purchased in physical copies. I mean, I have books behind me um, in our formal living room. We converted it into a, a reading room, so I've got several bookcases worth of books. I've got books lined up. You can't see all the way across here. There's books by my nightstand. I'm often buying books in print. And uh, sometimes you've bought perhaps even expensive books or research books, or you've been reading a book and it's something in the future you think you may want to reference, but uh, you don't have it in Logos. So two options. Number one, you could buy that book again so that you have it in Logos, but it means paying for it a second time. But I want to show you a really helpful feature that Logos has been rolling out in which you can add print books to your library. Now, you won't be able to read the book in Logos, but it comes in really handy whenever you're doing searches within Logos to be able to find books. So I'm going to show you two ways of doing it if we jump into Logos Bible software. The first one is I can come to my library and you'll notice up here I have my library of books, but there's also an option to add to library. So I can search for books. Uh, what I've got here is I went and grabbed, uh, this is one of my favorite books uh, by Jody Magnus. Jody Magnus is a, a great scholar, one of my favorites on the background, the culture uh, of the first century world. And so she has a great book I'd highly recommend it on the Jewish daily life, stone and dung, oil and spit. I own this in print. I don't have it in Logos, but it often has uh, quotations and references to first century litis literature. So here she's talking about uh, scrolls from Qumran. At other times she gets into rabbinical writings. It's the sort of thing I could see myself wanting to search and have show up in results. So the first thing I can do in Logos is I can actually just search for this specific book by its title. And that's uh, pretty simple to do. So I can go type in the titles stone and dung. And sure enough, this book comes up. You'll notice I've got it right here. Couple of options. If I wanted to, again, I could purchase this book just by clicking on the link. You'll notice there's a shopping cart button. When I click that, it allows me to look at it on Logos' website and purchase it if I wanted. But next to it, there's an option that has a couple of books with a plus sign, and I can add it to my print library catalog. If I do that, what it's now going to do is Logos recognizes that this book is a part of my print collection. Now, again, that doesn't mean that it's I'm able to read this book, but it does mean that I'm now able to search and have that book show up in search results. So if I come back to just a regular search and let's um, let's open up our passage and see if we could find something that we want to quote from exactly. So um, so here's something kind of obscure. So uh, we could look this house of Ahel in Jerusalem, city of David. I don't even know. <laughs> She's this is a great chapter. She's actually talking about toilets and why that matters in the ancient world. It's particularly interesting when it comes to Qumran and the Essene sect. I'll save that for uh, the reading. But let's just do a quick search here and see if we can find that. So back in Logos, I'm going to do a basic search, and I'm actually going to select just the books. And you have a couple of options here. I've already pre-selected. You could search all of your books, but for this case, I'm going to search specifically in my print library. That means any book that I've loaded into Logos from my print library is going to show up in these results. So if I do print library, and then if I just search uh, one of the phrases from that passage we were looking at, the house of Ahel. And you'll see it gives me two results. So one of them, this actually shows up apparently in the Zondervan Handbook of Biblical Archaeology. But sure enough, here is our book. So Ancient Toiletry Facilities and Sanitary Arrangements. This is from the book Stone and Dung by Jody Magnus. If I click on this, it'll actually give me um, a little bit of an excerpt of the book and show me uh, I could specifically buy it if I decided I wanted here as well. But perhaps the most helpful thing is that it actually gives me the book, the page numbers. So if I wanted to go pick up my print copy, and let's double check our print copy here. If you notice, that passage we've been reading from is exactly page 133. And it tells me in Logos this quote comes from pages 131 to 133. So a really, really helpful tool if you're trying to find something in your print library. If you take the time to enter it in, then it makes it pretty easy to search within Logos. Um, I do want to give you one other way of loading these books. So the way that we did it was by going to library and searching for the book. But if you wanted to do this quickly, perhaps you're standing in front of your bookshelf, Logos built a great tool into their mobile app. So I'll show you on your mobile app. I've opened up the Logos uh, Bible software, and if I come down to the More section, you'll notice there's specifically a print library ISBN scanner. And if I open that up, it opens up to my camera, 
And I can literally scan any of the barcodes that has the ISBN number. And if you'll notice, it's loading. It will find that book and automatically add that book to my Logos library. If it doesn't have a barcode, so perhaps you have an older book that doesn't have uh, a print there, it's added it to my library, my print library. If you have an older book that perhaps you didn't have uh, a barcode for, you can always look up the ISBN number. And instead of using your camera, you can click the button and enter that ISBN number manually and add it. And the great part of this is, I mean, you could stand in front of your bookcase in between the camera and the ISBN. You could add a lot of your books fairly quickly. And then whenever you come into Logos to do those searches, you're gonna be able to find those references and look them back up. So in an ideal world, I wish every book I had ever bought was in Logos. But this has been a really helpful way to be able to find things as a writer, as a pastor, as somebody researching for YouTube as well too. Uh, a quick way for me to pull up those references. And uh, for the future, one of the things I try to do is if I buy a book that I plan to read straight through just for my own enjoyment or learning, I tend to still buy a physical copy. But if it's a book that I think there may be some chance I will reference uh, in, the, in the future, or I may need to look something up, I tend to buy it in Logos because the search features are so great. But hopefully that's a way, if you're thinking about Logos, don't worry if you've made an investment in print books, there's still some benefit to those print books, even in the way that you're searching in Logos. Check back, I've got more of these Logos tutorials coming. I wanna walk you through how I've been using it in my sermon preparation. And I've got a website uh, article going up that'll give you a, a special discount if you're looking to try Logos for the first time and talk to you a little bit more about why now might be the best time to do it if you're not already a Logos member.